We're here with Ed Pleat, Ford's manager for vehicle connectivity at the New York Auto Show. Ed, we're standing next to the Orange Electric Focus. We are. Sounds like an energy drink, but in fact, it's uh, one of several new battery electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles that are coming from Ford in the next few years. What do we have to look forward to? That's exactly right, Jack. So we've announced a, a pretty aggressive uh, electric vehicle program that we have coming. Uh, we have the Electric Focus that's coming uh, in 2011. We actually have the Battery Electric Transit Connect that's coming this year. And we've also announced uh, two new hybrid electric vehicles and a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle that will be coming in 2012. So a pretty aggressive plan uh, that's been announced to date for Ford. We, we recognize at Ford that for electrified vehicles to, to really become mainstream, we need to have a collaborative effort with some key stakeholders in the ecosystem. And this new product is called Microsoft Home, and I'm going to spell that. It's H-O-H-M. This is the second four-letter effort from Microsoft, <laughs> uh, hot on the heels of Sync, which has been well accepted. But That's instead right. of being in-car entertainment, what this is, as I understand it, is it's software that helps people determine the most appropriate and affordable time to recharge the plug-in and battery vehicles that are coming from Ford. That's right. So Microsoft Home, H-O-H-M, as you say, uh, is actually a product that's on the market today. It's a cloud-based solution that Microsoft offers free to their consumers. And it allows customers today to be able to manage their energy use of their home. In the future, they're going to be able to manage the energy use of their home, but also their vehicle together as a full portfolio. So with this partnership, we're going to be able to do all sorts of things, but really help our consumers make it easier for them to own and, and to manage their electric vehicle. I know a lot of people are excited about the idea of Ford really plunging headlong and the electric focus I think is particularly interesting because it represents a pretty focused, pardon the pun, effort to make an affordable electric vehicle. Where do you see that vehicle being priced and what will the competition be in 2011? Well, we're, we're very excited about the electric focus, you know, so we're going to have uh, internal combustion engines and we're going to have battery electric vehicles coming down the same line in our assembly plant. So, um, we're actually able to leverage the platform to try to reduce costs as much as possible uh, and really make it a, the global vehicle that it is. Uh, the Battery Transit Connect, tell me about the type of customers you're seeing who are interested in a battery-powered urban delivery vehicle. What we really see is um, commercial users that have kind of a set commute uh, that really enables uh, our consumers to use the full range of the battery electric uh, uh, powertrain, uh, but also be able to plug in and, and have a regular schedule. Now, are those folks allowed to use Microsoft Home, or is it like uh, Windows 7, where there's an office and a home and a pro? Uh, so we, um, we the, the announcement today was the home integration is going to be first launched on the Focus battery electric vehicle uh, in 2011. Uh, so the Transit Connect that's coming out end of this year will not have that service. Um, but, but who knows, we're always looking to, uh, to add on capability. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jack. Look forward to seeing you at the next show. Thank you. Thank you.